Hey guys, Beer Time Gamer here, and welcome to Let's Play Mass Effect. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new career. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Connect to the database. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. All right, and we're not gonna choose John Shepard. We'll choose a new ID and custom female. Please log in to access your profile. Uh, Jane Shepard is fine. Let's click accept. The reason why I picked female is because the voice actress is really, really good. Jennifer Hale, she's a great actress. She does really good work. Warning, data corruption detected. Please reconstruct profile. Okay, reconstruct profile. Confirm pre-service history. Uh, so I'm pretty familiar with these options. I'm going to select colonist. So you were born and raised on Mindwar, a small uh, border colony in the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwar, sla uh, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. Confirm psychological profile. And of the three here, we're gonna go with War Hero. So early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Confirm military specialization. So these are the classes that we can select. And I'm going to go with soldier. Confirm facial identification. And here we get to change the appearance of our shepherd, our commander shepherd. And um, I'm going to take some time here to create one that I can live with for the rest of the this series. Uh, we're going to play through all three games with the same character. So um, yeah, I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back with the final product. Okay, this is the face we're going with. Um, yeah, it, this is good. Profile reconstruction complete. Let's go ahead and accept that. Identification confirmed. Okay, perfect. So these settings are good. We don't need to change anything. Let's go ahead and accept. Well, what about Shepard? She grew up in the colonies. She knows how tough life can be out there. Her parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. She proved herself during the Blitz, held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. She's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question her courage. Humanity needs a hero, and Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2148, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technology enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis of this incredible technology was a force that controlled the very fabric of space and time. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilizations of the galaxy call it Mass Effect. Fantastic. I love how epic this game is. The Arcturus Prime relays in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot, acquiring approach vector. Station secure for transit. Board is green. Approach run has begun.
Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. So, I'm not going to talk that much during, like, cutscenes and conversations, um, but outside of that, yeah, you'll hear quite a bit of me. I agree. And they don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Ethan Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? You made him mad. Great. You pissed the Captain off, and now I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> Don't blame me. The Captain's always in a bad mood. Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> All right, so here's our ship, the Normandy, um, it's a pretty cool ship. So let's talk to this guy. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? I heard you arguing. Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander, just having a chat with Adams down in Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. What do you mean? You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. Hmm. Um, let's see. Let's ask him about the stealth systems. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper. Less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. A cover for what? For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. Uh, what's your problem with the Captain? Do you have a problem with the Captain? No, ma'am. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated Special Forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. I see your point. And what about this Turian inspector? You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was a long time ago. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Okay, I get your point. I'll look into it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. Thank you very much, sir. Climb dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. 
<laughs> you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Yeah, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Whoa, relax, buddy. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Hmm, let's, uh, let's talk about this Spectre. Or let's talk about Nihilus. What can you tell me about Nihilus? Turians are generally well respected by the other species. Their fleet has more patrols protecting Citadel space than any other. They don't always get on well with us, though. Some people find them too rigid. Others still blame them for the first contact war. As for Nihilus, I haven't said more than two words to him. He usually only speaks to the captain. I heard Nihilus once took down an entire enemy platoon all by himself. Man, I can't believe I'm on a mission with an actual Spectre. Hmm. Let's talk more about the Spectres. What do you know about the Spectres? Only what I've heard. Spectre agents work directly for the Citadel Council. They usually work alone or in small groups. Spectres don't have any official power, though. Basically, they're a shadow organization with a mandate to preserve and protect galactic stability. Protect it at any cost. Don't forget that part. Spectres operate above the law. Uh, that sounds kind of dangerous. How do you control agents with unlimited power? I suppose the Council could revoke the Spectre status of an agent who got out of hand. At that point, Citadel Security Services would take over. Those CSEC grunts wouldn't stand a chance. The Spectres were 20 ordinary soldiers. The Spectres police themselves. An agent goes rogue, they send another agent to take him down. That's Spectre justice. The Corporal's confusing romantic legends with reality, Commander. That's Spectre justice, so there are no human Spectres? Why don't we have any of our own people in there? Spectres usually come from the Council races, like the Turians. We've been trying to get a human accepted into their ranks for years now. So far, it hasn't happened. Hey, Commander, you'd make a good Spectre. You're a war hero, right? Held off an entire enemy fleet during the Blitz single-handed? That's the kind of talent the Spectres are looking for. This is all just wild speculation. The Spectres aren't interested in recruiting humans, no hmm. matter how capable. I like how they worked in my... Uh... Uh, selection from my character creation into the conversation there, war hero. Um, let's talk about Eden Prime. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But... When I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. So why are we going there? Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. There's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. You'll do fine, buddy. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Dude, be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not gonna screw this up. All right. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. Good, good talk, guys. Good talk. All right, buddy. Uh, where's the captain? This is not the captain. This is Nihilus. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. Where's Captain Anderson? The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Uh, why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? What's that supposed to mean? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. 
This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Yeah, I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Why the secrecy? There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. Prothean? I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Um, why did we tell the Council? Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Evaluate? I should have known. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. That's th the third time someone's mentioned the Blitz. <laughs> yeah, we, I think we made a good choice in that selection. You put my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. That's, uh, pretty nice of you. Not biased at all, I like it. You support this, Captain? I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. All right, let's find out some more about the Protheans. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without their mass relays, interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. Well, let's find out more about Eden Prime. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. Wow, this sounds really important. Okay, uh, let's, let's hear more about this discovery. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Hmm. The wrong hands? Like who? Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus Systems. The Terminus Systems? The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus Systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. 
The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. Hmm. We have to keep this low key. Oh, okay. Some of the species in the Terminus systems, like who? Like the Collectors? Possibly. Um, alright. I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. out after that no calm traffic at all just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. This shit just got real. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Uh, can we trust that guy? I don't like putting my life in the hands of a Torian, sir. Nihilus is on our side. He wants you in this victory, and he wants that beacon. All right, understood, Captain. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. That question was a little, uh... <laughs> well, not a question, but the statement. Putting her life in the hands of a Torian. Well, racist. Well, racist, I gotta say. But, um, yeah. So, we're here on Eden Prime. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Your guard up. Shit's going down. Um, but I think I'm gonna end the video here, and we'll continue on uh, next time. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.